We are grateful to you, Lord. Let's go to the word this morning. And the word is coming to us from 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 17, like I read before. And the version I want to read to you this morning says this. If Christ has not been raised, then your faith has nothing to it. Can you imagine? Your faith has nothing to it. You are still guilty of your sins. You're still guilty, the word says, of your sins. You are still in your sin. Yeah, your faith is futile. A lot of people don't believe in the resurrection and some people argue about what day it was and all that kind of stuff. That's not what we're going to be talking about this morning. In, in 1 Corinthians 15, we read these words from Paul. If Christ has not been raised, then our preaching, your preaching, your, your testifying and all that good stuff, your preaching is worth nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your faith is worth nothing at all. So you're wasting your time. Pretty much that the word is saying. If Christ didn't die for us, then you're wasting your time talking about church and talking about this and talking about that and preaching and teaching and all that good stuff. You're wasting your time. If he was not raised from the dead now. And also, we are guilty of lying about God because we testified of him that he raised Christ from the dead. And if Christ has not been raised, then your faith has nothing to it. <laughs> nothing to it. You are still guilty of your sins. The Bible says. So the question is, how can we be sure that Jesus was resurrected? Let's take a look at some of the evidence this morning. Mark 16, John 20, Matthew 18. They all, all give accounts of Jesus appearing first to woman after he was resurrected in those times women were sometimes considered to be less reliable witnesses than men and their testimony didn't carry as much weight as, at all if at all if the accounts of jesus resurrection were made up right they would have been more believable to people yeah of that time if the writers had said jesus appeared to men first are you hearing me this morning <laughs> i'm going somewhere with this if jesus had appeared to men first it would have been more believable more believable therefore many biblical scholars many of them believe that woman being the first witnesses points to the truth of the resurrection account than what matthew mark and john had to say there's also the number of accounts of jesus appearing to different people in different circumstances as well as the woman listen he appeared to 12 disciples to Cleopas and another disciple on the road of Emmaus. And in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 6 tells us that he appeared to 500 people at the same time. At the very same time. But for us, the best proof of his resurrection can be seen in how he changes lives, my brothers and sisters. How he changes lives. Paul wrote, and Paul said, you have been made right with God. That's what he said. You have been made right with God. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Lives in you. And just as God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same spirit living within you. <laughs> Romans 8 and verse 10 and 11. So if Jesus wasn't raised from the dead, then your faith, your faith is, futile, is futile 
as the word says and you are still in your sin you're still living in your sin so i want you to read through read through one or even all all of the gospel accounts of his resurrection talk to god honestly have a conversation with him because i had to do that have a conversation with him honest conversation with him talk to god honestly about any doubts you might have had about them about the gospels and ask him to help you discover the truth of what jesus resurrection really means for you are you hearing me this morning are you hearing me this morning speak to him about any doubts you might have you, you might have about them about those gospels god gospel according to matthew gospel according to mark and 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 john remember now mark 16 john 20 and matthew 28 speak about his resurrection any doubt you might have talk to god about it and ask him to help you to discover the truth of what jesus resurrection really really means because i don't think we all understand it the way we should if christ is not risen your faith is futile you are still in your sin so you got to believe in his resurrection you have to believe in his resurrection to understand even who Christ is. So Father, we thank you again, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for giving your all to us. Dying on the cross for our sins. That we could be here this morning to celebrate you, to magnify you, and to glorify your holy name. Be with us, Lord. Be with us. Give us the understanding Give us the understanding, O oh God, that only you, only you and your death and your resurrection can really cleanse us from our sins. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen and amen. We just want to thank the Lord this morning for his words and for what he's saying to us, the resurrection. If Christ has not been raised, then your faith has nothing to it. You are still guilty, guilty of your sins. Hallelujah. It's the morning show. It's the morning show. Gospel Joy with DJ D. Roy.